Hey guys, if you've never been here before, welcome to Hack the Honeydew List. Today I'm going to show you how I clean my condenser coil. You can see here it's pretty dirty, so let's get to it. Make sure you got your panel box. Thirteen and fifteen. Turn it off. I already took the screws around the top. There isn't enough room to get the drill in there, so I got a quarter inch ratchet. So I've already killed the power. It's pretty nasty in there. Somebody left the cover off the contactor. I'll go ahead and get this cleaned out. Careful around the circuit board. This is a run capacitor for the compressor. Unlike most units, this is just a single capacitor. My fan motor doesn't take one. This um, aluminum wire should be changed out. Look at all this junk in here. Look at how dirty that coil is. Hey, you're saying hi. Huh? See all that stuff I got out of there. It's pretty dirty. It's been pretty hot here, so this is gonna help a lot. Do is take lift the top up and rinse it from the inside out to push all the dirt out. You can see it embedded in the coil. I'm not gonna use coil cleaner. rinse on the tray out because it cleaned out first. Go straight on the fin. Don't pull at an angle with a high amount of pressure, you'll bend them. You 
don't want to use a pressure washer or a high amount of pressure because you'll bend these fins. You just go straight on. Don't go at an angle with a high stream of water. You'll bend them. I'm not gonna bore you with doing the whole thing. I'll show you. Uh, I'll show me closing it back up, but be careful. Don't get don't get water in here. Um, but you can see. Be careful of the wires attached to this motor. That's why I'm not taking it off. I could. I could unstrap everything, unhook the motor from the board, but you don't need to do that. Just be careful of the top of your coil. Don't drop it. Set it down gently. You can lift it up and then force water down through. Make sure you go straight into the fins, but go from the inside out to push all the dirt out, and then you can rinse it from the outside straight down. You don't need chemicals. Chemicals, if you don't rinse them completely, can actually uh, weaken the aluminum or help it deteriorate. That's my experience. I'm sure people have a different opinion, but as long as you rinse all the dirt out of this coil, it's like a radiator. It, uh, it's a heat exchanger. It's gonna transfer the heat from the refrigerant out into the air and vice versa in heating mode. This is a heat pump. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up and then I'll put the cover back on and we'll start it up. Those came out pretty good. Started putting the sides back on. Came out pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and continue. Let you sit here and watch. This one doesn't have screws in the bottom, so you gotta put the corners in first. And this knockout here, there's a lip. You put it down over and then lift it up like that. as these louvers point down so that, that's how you know that that's the bottom It's all back together. Show you something before I button it up. It's 
good to get yourself an extra capacitor. This is upside down, but you can see right here, it says 45 MF. That's 45 microfarad and 440 volt. Make sure your power's off and be very careful touching these. Don't touch these. After the power's off, you actually put a screwdriver, hold the plastic rubber handle and short across them because that can hold a charge like a battery, but a very potent charge. Um, it should discharge by itself, but sometimes it doesn't. And that's what we have to do to make sure we don't get zapped. So see what you have. And it's a good idea to order one and have it, have it on hand. There are other ways to test it. And I'll show you when I get the new one. I, I ordered one for myself and I ordered a contactor as well. So I wanted to show you that before I button this back up. If you know how to read a wiring schematic. On the inside is the wiring schematic for the unit. So you're going to be getting plenty of air now. See you on the next one.